Good evening, class of 2013. I am Dean Amir Ziv. I am an accountant, so I am going to speak to you with numbers. Every day, 5,156,000 people ride the New York City subway. That translates into $12,148,000 in revenue for the city. Yuri's Hall has 86 classrooms, 12 bathrooms, 938 square meters of carpet in its largest classroom. Yes? Dean Ziv is here to see you, sir. Take a seat, Amir. I heard you had a rough time at the lighthouse last night. I am told that my emotions do not come across in my speeches, or in my teaching, or in my daily interactions. Yes, well, that's typically why we have you give the orientation speeches, Amir. You see, the students are a little too hopped up when they get off the buses. And Amir, you're like a, a verbal tranquilizer. I won't be around here forever. I'll have to answer my calling. And I'll need a successor. And my successor will have to deliver the most important speech of each year. The graduation speech. Glenn, I am not sure if I... Uh, Amir, a leader must inspire his people. But I've arranged for someone to help you speak from the heart. She's a visiting leadership professor from the London School of Economics. Her name is Matilda Bigadike, and she's waiting for you. Amir, welcome. Please, sit down. Now let's get to know each other. I am seeking to become more heartfelt in my speeches. Yes, yes, we'll get to that, darling. With my expertise, you will learn to stop suppressing your emotions, and you will let your inner flower blossom. Inner flowers are intangible objects that must be amortized. Yes. Well, you need to open yourself up and speak from the heart. Let in the warm emotions that result in invaluable human connection. Now let's try an exercise. I want you to think of something sad. Something really sad. Being forced to reclassify operating leases as capital leases, causing significant liability increases to my balance sheet. Okay, no, this isn't working. We need to try something else. Now, who really touched you in your life? Was it your father, a teacher, a childhood pet? Um, Shlomo? Exquisite. Now, who is Shlomo? Shlomo was my childhood dog. We used to frolic together in the Golan Heights. Interesting. This gives me an idea. I want you to remember you're a great dog, Marley. You're a great dog. You're a great dog, Marley. A great dog. You played fetch with my heart. Oh, so long. This isn't working. Wait, Amir. Before you go, take this. I want you to have him for the weekend. Okay. Opa. Okay. I just feel that the administration isn't listening to us. The administration is doing all that it can for all of Colombia's 1,823 students. We will continue to provide the same level of service until our Manhattanville campus opens in 2023. Wait. What does Manhattanville have to do with any of this? My uncle is on the board of overseers, and he will be hearing about this. What do you think, Pfeiffer? Where did I go wrong? You've come back. I come here to ask for your forgiveness. I have to be able to connect with the students and alumni if I have any hope of succeeding, Glenn. Very well. Let's get to work. Good 
afternoon, Columbia Business School graduating class of 2012. You are about to embark on one of the most important journeys of your life. I look around and I see all of the wonderful friendships that we've made along the way. You know, there are 1,550... Oh, I hope all of you have found love in some form here at CBS. I hope you've decided to load up on the classes that teach you the softer skills in life. They will prove much more effective than the technical classes in the long run. Also, I have decided to issue a new grading policy. No more grades! If you feel like you did well on a certain assignment, come to my office and I will smother you with hugs and pepper you with kisses. Oh, I feel like a little schoolboy standing here with you today. Me, I'm afraid you've gone a tad too far. Oh, please don't go. We can make B school three years like law school. Please don't leave me. Please don't leave me like Shlomo left me. I've led you astray. Oh, what do we do now? Look within yourself. Oh. Reach within. Oh. <laughs> Every day. 5,157,000 people ride the New York City subway.